This bill would take away funding from me and countless other students in Florida. High schooler Thomas Trong and his friends say they're fighting for their futures. If this bill passes, um, I'll be like knee deep in student loans and uh, I'd either have to seek opportunities elsewhere. The three worry chosen paths in liberal arts will cost them bright futures dollars if Senate Bill 86 gets final approval. They've created an online campaign to kill the bill, a website and digital petition with more than 100,000 signatures. By passing this bill, you're crushing a lot of students' dreams. The policy's latest version has education leaders like the Board of Governors creating a list of degrees that don't lead directly to employment. Those on it risk reduced scholarships. People need this process of how do I match my interest with also my financial opportunities. Sponsor Senator Dennis Baxley says his goal is to push all areas of study and students to better futures. But we have to guide them towards more productive paths if we can. SB 86 also removes Bright Futures aid structure, tying it to state budget appropriations instead of automatically paying 75 or 100 percent of tuition, depending on qualifications. I can't be supporting this bill today. Democrats in committee came down hard on the legislation as un-American. It just doesn't sound right that you're going to tell the students what they can and cannot do. But their opposition couldn't stop the GOP majority from advancing the policy, forcing Thomas and his friends to keep up the fight. We're not giving up on this. We're, we're ending this bill.